Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, I wanna show you how to create a reverse shell .exe binary using NIM that fully bypasses Windows Defender. I tested this currently on my main OS, which is a fully updated Windows 11 machine with fully updated signatures through Windows Defender. All the security things are enabled and I'm able to get a secure shell, a stable shell, that I'm then able to enumerate the full file system on my host machine. Now, what I've noticed in the past when you get a shell that claims to bypass Windows Defender, what often happens is you might get a shell and that shell might last anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds, but then Windows Defender pops its head up and boom, it gets you, it cuts you off and you no longer have access to that shell. The method I'm gonna show you, we are gonna use NIM, we're gonna compile a reverse shell, we're gonna transfer it to our target, which is my real OS that I actually use from our Kali machine, and we are going to get a stable shell. And here is how we are gonna do it. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys without any further ado. And I'm gonna pull up my notes and show you what I did. The way I discovered this was actually doing the Avenger Room on uh, try hack me. So if you want to test this out on the Avenger room, you can. But as I was trying to figure out how to bypass AV with a full .exe reverse shell, I came across this NIM reverse shell. And before we can even do this, I would encourage you to do this. You can follow along, but you need to install a few things on Kali Linux. And that's this. You need to install mingw for compiling the NIM into a .exe binary. And you of course need to install NIM. So if you want to pause the video, run those commands in your Kali Linux machine and then come back to the video and we will work through this together. All right, hopefully you are back. Hopefully you did this. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link here and I'll show you how simple this actually is. We will go to GitHub. I did not write this. I cannot take credit for it. It is uh, snur, sneer. I don't know how you say it, but hey, a simple reverse shell written in NIM that bypasses Windows Defender detection. And look how simple this shell really is. Now, I don't know NIM. I can't write in it but I can kind of read it. Like, even if you don't know coding, you can understand a little bit about what's going on here. We're running a command, right? We can see that execute a process. We have our listener uh, IP and our listener port. This is gonna be our attack machine that we want our victim user to connect back to. And then we are able to enumerate. And look, it's very small code. So all you need to do is go ahead and copy this. I already did that on this cat reverse shell. If we go to reverse shell.nim, all we need to modify is our IP. I actually have mine from back when I was doing the Avenge, Avenger move, or Avenger move, Avenger room. So let's go ahead and get my local IP right here for the POC. And I'm gonna go ahead and update this. Port 443 is fine. It'll make it a little more realistic. And so we will do netcat MVLP 443 so that we are listening on that port. And now we have our reverse shell.nim and if we cat it, that's all it is, we need to turn that into a binary. And the way we are gonna do that is like this. We're gonna do nim because we installed nim of course. Uh, nim c and then dash d, we want to use mingw to turn it into a .exe. App GUI means we want you to inject this as a process so that even if the command prompt closes, we do not lose our shell. Our shell will persist. We will optimize it for speed. And then our output file, I'm gonna call it calculator.exe to make it a little more legit. And then reverse shell.nim is the name of our file. Okay, now if we ls, we can see we have calculator.exe, and now we need to host it so that our victim is able to download it. So we're gonna spin up a very simple HTTP web server running on port 80, and now on our host machine, so this is my actual real host machine that I do everything on uh, as I'm hacking stuff, but this is fully updated Windows 11 and fully updated Windows Defender, so we have that running here. We're gonna go ahead and do a wget from our Kali machine, which our IP is right here. So I'll copy that. And we wanna download calculator.exe and we'll output it as calculator.exe. All right, Windows Defender has not freaked out. Calculator.exe is right there. And if we go ahead and do calculator.exe, we will run it. And if we look over here, we just got a shell. We can do dir. And actually, so you're gonna see weird things happen on my computer because of course this is where it's running, but uh, we'll, we'll just ignore that. I'm gonna pull that over here. So we do a shell there. We can uh, go ahead and echo, I am a elite hacker to notes.txt. 
And if we pull it up on here, I'm able to write everything to this machine. And here's the difference between this and some other uh, shells that you've seen. This will not stop. So I'm not going to do it on stream, but I was able to go through my entire OS, run different commands and enumerate my whole system with Windows Defender fully running and Defender did not catch me. So I hope this is helpful. Hope this helps you understand a little way of how to bypass Defender using NIM, compiling it with MingW, getting that .exe, starting your Netcat listener, and boom, we have bypassed Defender as well as many other AV solutions and we have a full, stable reverse shell. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Hope you found it helpful and I will catch you guys in the next one.